Well, congratulations on the opening of the one and only Cape Town. It's the sixth hotel that the one and only is opening. Why did you decide to choose Cape Town as the location for your new hotel? Cape Town, I think, is uh, a must for uh, certainly for all overseas visitors. I think it's a must for South Africans. So we feel putting uh, an opening at one and only in Cape Town is uh, very important for us. Uh, we have one and onlys from Mexico to uh, the Bahamas, going through to Dubai, uh, the Maldives, uh, Mauritius. So they really spread and it's uh, wonderful for me, in particular, uh, as a South African to now reopen, which I think will be one of the best uh, one and onlys we've built. This hotel comes with a very hefty price tag of one billion rand, but yet it's very different to Sun City and Lost City. Do you think the architect managed to capture that urban resort feel that you were looking for? I think he got it. He, he got it spot on. For the first time we've been able to put a one and only, which, you know, is n they are known as great resort destinations, uh, and to have it right in the heart of Cape Town on the waterfront and yet when you walk out to the pool and the rooms around the pool and the spa on the uh, island, I mean you might as well be in a resort. So when you put this whole combination together, uh, really resort, you want to be in a city, whatever it is, and I, you know, I, I think it's very, very exciting to have Cape Town as our first one and only. There's no denying that we're in the throes of a global recession and here we are at the opening of Africa's most opulent hotel. Do you not think that it's a bit of a contradiction in terms? We can't time things perfectly, let me say that for a start. I mean we've been building this, planning and building for over two years. Uh, so I don't want to pretend that we could forecast that this uh, downturn would have occurred. but. You know, we don't build this for a one-year or a two-year period. I mean, this one thing with hotels, they have life. I think the important thing is that I think we've built something truly outstanding. And I think even in the poor economic climate that we experience at the moment, I think uh, that many South Africans will, and we have, to be clear, uh, created, a, in view of the economy, a special rate for South African uh, tourists and businessmen that I think makes the hotel quite affordable. You know, we're aware of uh, what's happened uh, from an economic standpoint, and I think we've adjusted to it. And uh, as I say, we're not looking at returns purely in the first year. We look at over a period, and obviously you want to do it, and my belief is this hotel will be profitable. So Mr. Kersner, you're very much a visionary, having developed South Africa's first five-star hotel when there wasn't one, and now you're bringing the one and only to Cape Town. Do you still see potential gold mines in South Africa's hotel development industry? And if so, where are you planning to invest? Definitely. I've always been a believer. Otherwise, I wouldn't have built all those hotels back in the 60s. You speak about the first five-star hotel. That was back, we opened December 64, so it's a long time ago. I was always confident that, uh, firstly, that South Africans enjoy great accommodation. So you have a strong domestic market. Since 1994, the, all the coverage has been very, very positive about the country. So I am very confident that we will be doing more here, but I don't want to speculate of where and how and when.